What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Boogie2988 coming at you live once again through the power of the internet. And today we're going to take a look at this uh, and unbox it. This is the Steam Link. Now this only costs about $49.99, um, but that's because it's a fairly simple device. All it is is a simple box that allows you to stream from your existing PC, which will be rendering whatever game it is you are playing, to your television. And uh, I mean, I, that's kind of useful for a PC gamer. Now, when I talked about this on Twitter today, a lot of you confused this with the Steam machines that are coming out as well right now. That is a vastly different concept. The Steam machines are console-like computers that are standalone devices that run Linux, which also run a native version of Steam that's been coded for Linux that are run, the, run the majority of your games. They tend to be extremely more expensive because they have to have a lot of hardware. This is a very cheap piece of hardware because it has to use your existing PC. Here's the unit itself, and it's really, really small. I mean, this is about the size of my Apple TV device. So I'm actually shocked by how small it is. Um, but I guess there's not a lot of hardware to it. Uh, here on the back, you've got uh, a couple USB ports, uh, the all-important Ethernet port, the uh, HDMI slot, AC adapter, and there appears to be another slot on the side that looks like it's a USB as well. Uh, they don't cheap out. You do get an HDMI cable albeit a fairly short one, uh, you do get an ethernet cable because this device really, really, really needs to be wired in um, to get decent quality. But the, the AC adapter is here as well. But I guess since they wanted to make this a worldwide product, they actually have three different wall plugs, depending on what part of the world you're living in, to plug it in by. So that's weird. Now the quick start guide does show you how to set it up either via Wi-Fi or via wired ethernet. I do know from reading other reviews that uh, the wired experience is considerably better than the Wi-Fi experience unless you have a beast of a router. Well, since this is my job, I do have a beast of a router. So I'm gonna try it both ways and we'll see which works out pretty good. Now, before we go hook it up, we should talk about how we're gonna control this thing. And there's a variety of different ways. Uh, you can hook in a uh, wired device here, a wired keyboard, a wired mouse, a wired Xbox One or 360 controller. Uh, those are all options. And of course, the other option is the Steam controller, which was designed largely to be used with the Steam Link. And if you saw my review for this, uh, I'm gonna link in the description box below if you do wanna see it. We talked about this um, second D-pad here. This is actually uh, a tactile mouse-like control. If you ever use a laptop, then this is very similar to the way the uh, the scroll pad on a, mount, uh, a laptop works, uh, which will allow you to use games that require not just a controller, but mouse-like control as well. It also has Bluetooth 4.0, so any Bluetooth device will hook up to it like a DualShock controller, provided that Steam has uh, created software support for it. Now, even though for the life of me, I can't get used to where these buttons are, I'm hoping with enough time with the Steam Link, I'll get used to them. So I'm probably going to focus on that, though I do have an Xbox 360 wired controller around here somewhere if I have to rely on that. Let's go to my living room and try it out. Now, I had said that this definitely streams Steam directly to your television. Well, that is exactly what it's doing. If you can see my computer in the uh, other room, you can see that's exactly what's on the screen right now, right here. And I'm using... The Steam Link's controller, uh, the Steam controller here. I don't know if you can even see it that well, but I'm actually using the trackpad features, just like a mouse, to be able to, to go through Steam. That is crazy to me. I know it's a fairly simple technology, but I am an old man, and this seems like wizardry. Now, here's something I did not realize, is that this is actually emulating my desktop as well. So if I want to go over to Facebook and look at my friends arguing about the GOP debates, I can now do that from the comfort in my own living room. Also porn. This does feel a little bit clunky, but that is of course why there is Steam big picture mode, and this should make this a lot easier to work with. And well, here is Fallout 4 streaming exactly as you see it on the uh, screen in the other room, using the Steam controller to control it. And I mean, this is, it, it, it's really hard to tell with the way I'm filming it, but it looks just as good in here as it does uh, on my PC. That is really impressive, actually. But I have to say, this is where the Steam Controller really shines, because 
I'm perfectly emulating my desktop in here in the living room. I can scroll through everything. I can use this just like the mouse. And while it's not perfect, and I would always rather have a mouse and keyboard for use of something like this, this is a pretty good alternative if I want to check this stuff from my living room. So this is great. Overall, my first impression is, wow. I mean, I'm really, I'm really, really impressed. Um, this, I think, is really where the Steam controller was designed for, was obviously Steam Machines and Steam Link. And using it to do this made me really, really appreciate that controller and kind of makes me regret the initial review. Because as a general overall PC controller, it's mediocre. But as a Steam Link controller, it is incredible. As for the Steam Link itself, color me impressed. I really, really like it. As for the quality of the stream that I was getting, it was very, very good. And I have to say that that's obviously going to be reliant on your home network as well. And you may not have as great of a Wi-Fi router as I do, but we never even hooked it up to Ethernet. And I sat in there and played for about 45 minutes to an hour, and I experienced very, very few problems. When loading Fallout 4, obviously we got the Bethesda launcher, and that launcher would need a mouse to be used, so you'd either have to launch that from your mouse and keyboard or use a Steam controller because a regular controller would not allow you to do that specific thing. I booted up Pac-Man Championship Edition because it's a game I'm very familiar with and requires very, very little input lag to do well at. I actually did really, really well, even though about three quarters of the way through, I got a spurt of lag where I dropped, I mean, just 20 or 30 frames in a row, like a half a second worth of frames. And that was really, really irritating because it cost me a man, and that means my high score was not going to be very good. And in a 10-minute attack system like that, that's really frustrating. I presume I will get one of those every once in a while. Probably I got one in an hour, so let's say you'll get one of those once every hour. That could be really frustrating, and that would need improvement. I mean, but overall, man, this thing has blown me away. It's exactly the product I wanted. I kind of rolled my eyes when they announced that the Steam machines were going to run Linux and are going to be irritatingly frustrating to use. I did not initially like my Steam controller, but now that I've used it in conjunction with a Steam Link, man, that is a great package. Uh, but the problem is you have to be somebody who already has a very good gaming PC to utilize this setup. Otherwise, you need a Steam machine or a Windows machine. And, and again, that's that's prohibitively expensive for a lot of people. I mean, this product is, is targeted towards a very narrow group of people. We're talking PC gamers who already have a very decent uh, PC setup who are looking to uh, wirelessly or wired that to uh, their, their television to play their PC games in the living room or in their bedroom or elsewhere from instead of in front of their computer. And if you are that person, this technology, even at this very early stage, is a pretty damn good one, and I think it's an easy recommend. Hey, but that's just one man's opinion. I could be wrong. If you post your uh, uh, opinions in the comments section below, everyone could read them, and through reading them, we can learn what everyone thinks about this product. I'm just one person. This may fit my needs better than yours, and that's the best way to find out. So get down to the comments section. Let's see what people have to say. I look forward to reading your comments. As always, thank you so much for watching. I love you very much, and I'll speak with you again soon. I think I did really good with this video, considering how infected my throat is right now. Ooh, I'm always sick.